Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to view the print history on your Windows computer. So this tutorial will be applied for Windows 11 as well as Windows 10 computers, but this is being performed on a Windows 11 device. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in settings, desk match, or come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. Bluetooth and devices on the left panel here. And then on the right side, you want to scroll down and select printers and scanners. So select whatever printer you want to check the print history for over on the right panel here. And now you want to go and select the printer properties button. Select the advanced tab. And now you want to make sure where it says keep printed documents is checkmarked. This is a default printer in here, and I think part of the problem is it's a printed PDF, so it doesn't really allow you to keep printed documents in here. But you should have the option to check mark that right in here, and then you would select Apply and OK to save the change. So that's the first thing you want to do. You want to make sure you have it in there. And then you want to make sure you're able to track the printed documents. If you don't have that check mark, you're not going to be able to view any printed documents going forward. So you may have already been checked in your case, so then you would just be able to go ahead and open up the print queue, which would show a more recent print history. Now, it may not be as extensive as through the event viewer, so we're going to go ahead and just close out of all this and open up the search menu, type in event viewer, and open up that application. And let me just make this window a little bit bigger here. And you want to go and expand the applications and services logs. Just double click on that. It may take a moment to actually load the folder, so then just double click and then it'll expand the drop down here. Select, or I should say double click on the Microsoft folder, and then left click on the Windows folder one time over here on the left. And now you want to go down and locate the print service. So you can also just click on a random item in here and just type it in. I'm just going to scroll down again to print service. Now you want to double click on print service. Right click on the operational entry in here and select properties. And now you want to select the enable logging option and make sure where it says overwrite events as needed is selected here. And you may want to also adjust the maximum logging size. So right now it sets about one megabyte in size, but you can bump it up. You could probably do at least 10 megabytes and I think you'd be perfectly fine unless you're printing something every couple seconds you know for several years I think you'd probably be alright with even the default setting in here but generally speaking you may want to bump it up to a factor of like 10 or 15 times this and maybe you know 10,000 kilobytes 20,000 kilobytes it doesn't take up very much space you gotta keep in mind there's 1,024 kilobytes in a megabyte and there's 1,024 megabytes in a gigabyte and plenty of people have, you know, hard drives that are over a terabyte in size, which is 1,024 gigabytes. So honestly, it's very insignificant for most hard drives nowadays, but you may want to consider doing that. And you can also change the log path as well by pasting in a different file path. So if you have an external hard drive, perhaps, maybe you want to just paste it in over here, and that's where the log path will be saved. So pretty straightforward process on that, guys. Once you've made your selection, you want to select Apply and OK. You do probably want to restart your computer just to play it safe here. And then once you're done restarting your computer, you should be able to track your print history. So again, pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.